Hey y'all, happy hump day. How you doing? How you been? Okay, I had something on my mind. I want to go ahead and get off my chest um, really fast. I'm recording from my iPod again so it can be a straight upload to YouTube. Um, I was looking at a video the other day. I think her name was, um, I can't remember, Miss Little Miss Pumpkin Pie or Little Miss Pumpkin Spice or whatever. Anyway, um, her followers, her YouTube viewers were asking her to share with them her weight, how she lose weight, how she stay in shape. You know, what she do to, <clears throat> excuse me, what, she, what, the, what does she do to, to keep her body tight and tone the way it is. And um, I was glad to hear what she had to say. She was basically saying the truth is that she really don't do any, hardly anything. She is just built like that. It's just in her genes. To be slim and trim like that. I did a video about this a while ago. Um, when I first got on YouTube, but I, I could have be uploaded, but I don't even feel like looking for it. And I wanted to, you know, I have some more stuff to say anyway, so I decided to go ahead and record it. Um, I appreciate you guys as giving me the positive um, comments whenever I put up videos like this, and I and that's why I want to do this also. Um, don't compare yourself to nobody else. As far as how they're built, don't compare yourself and be like, oh, I want her body. I want to be shaped like that. <clears throat> it's all in your genes. It's all in your genetic makeup. You are going to, the way you're built is a genetic makeup of how your mother is built and how your father is built. Or how your mother's sisters are built or how your father's sisters are built. I never forget I went to Louisiana Um I know y'all, this is a bad habit. Don't start these. I need a little bit of push this morning because I wasn't going to go to the gym. I was going to skip to the gym and go do a pedicure and I motivated my own self. I just got off topic. But anyway, I just, I motivated my own self this morning by getting up, going to my closet. I had two more pairs of jeans that I really couldn't get in. And I, I got them and I'm in them. They are size 11 and I'm in them without... But, you know, I can breathe. I have room. So, I'm like, oh, yeah. That's another video. But, um, I'm in them. So, I'm going to do my own pedicure. And I'm going to save that money. I already spent the $20. I already went on, on wetseal.com this morning looking at Miss Diva like video. Yeah. Now, by me, y'all know me, tank top fanatic. I bought me some more tank tops. They don't sell, by the way. Yeah, I know I'm all over the place. But, really quick, this is the last day for wet and seal online. Free, sh free ship and they had like a lot of tank tops and shirts for like five for 20 which is cheap 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 so y'all go ahead and check that deal out i bought i, I bought um 20 dollars with the tank top back on subject i would never forget i went to louisiana i think it was for thanksgiving or christmas or whatever and i went to visit my father side of the family i went to visit his aunts and stuff and um because i haven't seen him in years years and years and years so i was sitting there and um no, my aunts, no, they they have daughters. And I was looking at them, I'm like, oh my God, you know, how old are you? Um, I would never forget she said she was um one girl told me like she was like 12 years old. And yeah, she had boobs, hips, belt, butt. I'm like, oh my God. And like I said, a lot of my aunts on my father's side, they have a lot of hips, a lot of behind. Not really that much as far as breasts, but they, they, they was like, you know, big bone, whatever you want to call it, it was big bone. They, not, they wasn't necessarily fat, but they just had like, what you call big bone. They just, you know, had like a, you know, like a style built to them. I'm like, oh my God. And, and it just hit me that, oh my God, that is why I'm built the way I am. As far as having a big behind, you know, hips. And I was, like I said, I kept looking at all of the females, a lot of our weight we carry in our behind, in our hips, and our stomach. You know, we don't really have a problem with like arms. No, you know, a lot of people have like big arms. That's genetics. No female, no female in my family had that problem. So that's why I was, you know, pretty blessed with, you know, with nice arms or whatever. But what I'm trying to say is, don't compare yourself to another female as far as, oh, I want to get like that because if you're top heavy, you know, if you're top heavy with skinny legs or whatever, you can lose all of the weight you can. You know, you can have the gastric bypass and all of that. If you lose that weight, you are still going to be top heavy, but just a smaller version of it. That's just how it is because I, I'm speaking from experience. I have family members, not family members. I have friends, a lot of friends I knew, I know they had the, the bypass. 
and like the sun was top heavy, you know, and they were still top heavy, but just a smaller version of themselves. So you're gonna have to get like major, major surgery done if you wanna like totally, you know, redo your body. And I'm once again, I'm living proof that you can, you know, rebuild your body. Cause like I said, I'm, like I said, I just got back into those size 11 jeans, and that's another video because don't go by the size of the jeans. Go by, you know, cause I. That's another video. But yeah, I'm I'm in those jeans, y'all. I'm in them. And um, I haven't looked like this. Like, mm, I keep saying I want to get back to myself the way I was before YouTube. But before YouTube, I wasn't this trim. I, I realize it now. I wasn't this trim. I got this trim by just doing hard work, eating right, exercise. And once again, don't compare yourself to somebody else. Another lady I follow on Twitter a lot. Her name is, um, I spoke of her before. Her name, I think, is Jeanette Jenkins. She's a... Um, a personal trainer to the stores, and she have a DVD out about the ab workout. And Kelly Rowland, you know, from be from Destiny Child, Kelly Rowland is on there, and she you know she keeps saying, "Oh, you gonna have abs like Kelly Rowland? You no, know, do this, do that, do that." I can break my neck in there doing sit ups, doing all of that, those exercises. It's gonna help me get my stomach flat. It's helping me, but I know I'm not gonna ever have a cis pack, a small waist like like um. Kelly Rowland, unless I have like a major tummy tuck and fat, all of that stuff sucked out. And it still might not even have a, have a six pack. I'm not going to say never, but you know, I wasn't built. My family members, we weren't built just to have, you know, skinny waist. You can look at some people, like Miss Diva, like, you know, she just did a video about hair. They were asking her about hair, how she grew her hair. She just not she don't do anything to it, just her genetic makeup to have long hair like that. I have long hair also the long my hair has gotten to like right here when I was pregnant. And if I leave it long, it'll get back to like right here again. So again, your hair, your way you're built, it's all genetics. You know, you can ask somebody, you know, how how did you lose weight or whatever, but you can just look at some people and just tell their, you know, that's they they've always been small all their lives. I'm trying to say you can just look at some people and tell. So yeah. Go, you know, <clears throat> one of the questions is, <clears throat> I get a lot also, is how do I, um, how do I motivate myself to go to the gym? I don't want nobody to look at me or whatever because I'm, I'm big or whatever. Go work out because you don't know what the next person have been through. You might see a lot of skinny people in the gym, you know, and be like, oh, I, I want to have a body. Um, this lady in my gym now, she's really small, really, really, really small. She ain't got your body pad. She lost over 200 pounds, but... To look at her, you really can tell unless you go up to her and talk to her, <clears throat> excuse me, and see all of her scars and stuff. So don't, 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 don't compare yourself to another female and be like, oh, I want to be like that. I'm going to kill myself and starve and be like that. It's all in your genetic makeup, how you're built. So I, it's time for me to go. And um, yeah, just keep that in mind, ladies. You know, just work out, do what you're going to do. You're going to see your body transform. And um, it all happens over time. And the, the way to keep it out, like I've said before, is, is slow, steady. Keep Do it slow. Don't do no big fast. Oh, I've lost 10 pounds in a week. That's not healthy because you're going to gain that weight back plus some. The healthy way to do it is like one or two pounds a week over time and you keep it off. Um, like I said, I've lost 50 pounds. I, the scale is still staying the same. But I know I'm, I'm still losing inches like crazy because, like I said, I'm in those jeans already. And... Like I said, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm losing a lot, a lot, a lot of inches still. So let me upload this. Um, and I hope I help someone again. If one person say, can you help me? I've done my duty for the week. So, y'all have a good day and uh -huh.